Hi, I'm Gary Amoroso, Executive Director of the Minnesota Association of School Administrators. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. I want to start off by thanking everyone who was able to attend the 2018 MASA Fall Conference in Brainerd. We had about 200 of our members there. We had 74 uh, exhibitors there. We had great keynotes, the uh, breakouts I was told by a number of people were the best breakouts that uh, we had had in a number of years, so we're very pleased with that. Uh, I hope it was a time for you to get together and share that professional learning experience with many of your colleagues. I hope you had some time to uh, relax and socialize with your colleagues. And I'm very grateful for those that participated in the uh, Dale Jensen Golf Classic uh, that benefited the foundation. It was a 50 degree day, it was sunny, it was gorgeous. Uh, quite frankly, the golfers lucked out because the day before we had snow in Brainerd on Saturday, which is just crazy for that time of the year. But it was a fabulous conference. Again, I'm very grateful and thankful for those uh, 200 members who were able to attend. And I, I, I know it's early, but I want to remind you that the spring conference will be held at the Minneapolis Marriott on Thursday and Friday, March 7th and 8th. We look forward to seeing everybody there. I want to mention that we had our board meeting um, for MASA this uh, past weekend. I just want to share a couple of the things that occurred at the board meeting. The board reviewed the results of the 2018 strategic plan uh, survey that talked about our strategic plan, get many, many positive comments from you, as well as looked at the services that we provide to you and had you tell us how we're doing. We had 168 members complete the survey. That, that's a good number. Uh, for the survey, and I'm very thankful for those that took the time to complete it. All of the results in their entirety will be up on our website uh, by time uh, this uh, Take 5 is uh, put out to you. So I hope you take a few minutes, it's going to be there for a year, and uh, take a few minutes to look at the results and get a sense of what your colleagues are saying about how we're doing and moving towards the accomplishment of our two goals and how we're doing in meeting your needs and how we're doing in providing services. So we're very uh, thankful for those that did the survey. The results were very positive and I just want to uh, reinforce that I feel so fortunate that I have had the opportunity to serve as your, uh, as your executive director and I'm looking forward to a, you know, just to a fabulous year. And as I always say, the strength of this organization lies within you, our members. I also want to mention that the board made a, an adjustment to how we will do um, elections in terms of the AASA governing board and any uh, elected position within our organization, whether it be for the board or for the president-elect or treasurer. And basically the process will be that we will send out information when we have an opening for a position People can then apply. If there are six or more people that apply for any one single position, we will then have a primary of those individuals. The top three vote getters and ties from the primary vote will then go to the final ballot. And then the winner of that final ballot will be the person who will represent MASA, whether it be on the ASA governing board, or on our board. We think it's a process that will create more engagement by our members and it's a process uh, that we just think will uh, add additional credibility to those elected because it'll take a larger number of people to elect a person to either board. And so uh, we're very thankful that the board of directors chose to go in that direction. With that, we're in October, the first month of the school year flew by. I hope that you have a, uh, a fabulous October. As always, if we can ever be of service, please feel free to contact me at 651-319-1211. Thank you.